It's something that you would never wish on even your worst enemy, I think. The real life horror show of turning around and realizing that not only am I shot, but my children are shot. She and her two daughters sitting in their car defenseless while it was riddled with bullets. It, my daughter screams. And before you can comprehend what's happened, wounds, everybody's wounded. And for Melinda Hippolito, these two are her world. I'm a single mother, so my daughters are always with me. And they were with her that night as she tried to help her sister out of a domestic violence situation. The man her sister was with must have read their text messages because when she arrived at the home where her sister was. I gave her a call and it went straight to voicemail. And by the second call, our car was just riddled with bullets. It clicks into my head. Your children are in the back seat. So I turn around and my daughter's entire forehead was gone. So I'm screaming at my children to please stay with me and yell, yelling at them to please tell me your ABCs. Tell me your ABCs, you guys. Come on, let's sing our ABCs as I'm on the phone with 911. Seven-year-old Mila had to have surgery after a bullet took a large portion of her forehead. She will likely have to have plastic surgery in the future. Nine-year-old Scarlett was shot in the back of the leg and will have to use a walker for now. Hippolito was shot in the arm and may also need plastic surgery. It's gonna be a very long road of rehabilitation. On top of everything, she can't drive doctor's orders. Plus, her car is still full of bullet holes, and even if it was drivable. My daughter's blood is in the, in the car. Her handprints are all over the car. It's just something that you don't want to relive. While they're thankful to be alive, it's hard to rest easy when the person responsible is still out there. I just want him caught for doing this, and I want anybody anybody in a domestic violence situation to call the police and get out. Carissa Lemkel, Fox 7 Austin News.